If you are carrying debt, you're not alone. The vast majority of people in this country owe money, which makes debt collection a very big business. The state of Michigan pays a Texas company more than $20 million a year to collect back taxes. Well, tonight, a new class action lawsuit alleges that company is way too aggressive in how they go after Michigan debtors. Defender Kevin Dietz here now with how these tactics are really being questioned. Yeah, you know, almost 2 million people in the state of Michigan are behind on their taxes. We all want that money collected, but there are rules in how you go about it. And this new lawsuit says the Texas company collecting in Michigan is going way too far. Metro Detroiters are heavy in debt. The whole country is. 80% of baby boomers, Gen Xers, and millennials have either credit card, student loan, auto, medical, or tax debt. When the bill collectors come calling, it can be a tough decision. Who gets paid first? Do I pay the house payment? Do I pay the car payment? Do I pay this? And then they get a letter from allegedly the state saying, we're going to garn your wages. Well, what would you do? Oh, crap. Don't pay anything else. Let's pay these guys. Attorney Larry Friedman has filed a class action lawsuit in it, he says, a collection company working in the state of Michigan is way out of line. Debtors have rights. Aggressive debt collecting is nothing new, but listen to this. The debt being collected in this case is for the state treasury department. The state hired GC Services, a private Texas company, saying you can keep 10% of what you collect. In the past five years, that's been about a billion dollars, 100 million in commission. The letters are certainly some of the worst letters that I've seen in 35 years of doing this kind of work. Look at the letter. While it does say they are a private collection company, it looks like it's the state of Michigan collecting. There is a state of Michigan email address, and the physical address is in Lansing, home of the state capitol. The letter fails to say you can dispute the debt or demand debt validation. What it does have is threats. The demand letter that said if you don't pay in 10 days, we're going to levy against your property. We're going to garnish your wages. The company has been sued in New York, Ohio, and Texas by the federal government. In Texas, the Trade Commission initiated an agreed upon consent decree putting a nationwide injunction on GC services from violating fair debt collection standards. Here in Michigan, the Treasury Department is paying the company over $20 million a year and has done little to stop them from deceiving residents in aggressive demand letters. Calls to GC Services legal and PR departments were not returned. We contacted State Treasurer Nick Kahuri. A spokesperson responded, scheduling, then canceling an interview, ultimately opting for a statement saying in part, common practice is to use an outside vendor to supplement collections activity, which takes advantage of best practices in the collections field. GC Services was awarded the contract after meeting or exceeding criteria established in the state competitive bid process. When I pushed for specific responses to the allegations, they cited the litigation and declined comment. The statement does not have a single word about looking into why this company is trying to look like a state agency or why they are ignoring the fair debt collection practices. The Treasury Department did give us a link to the Michigan Taxpayers' Rights Handbook, but of course the link to this handbook is not attached to the collection letters being sent out to debtors. And this company, GC Services, is in the process of working out a brand new $1 billion contract with the state to keep collecting back taxes for another five years. So what if you are a debtor and you get one of these collection letters? What are you supposed to do? Yeah, so typically you'd go to the Attorney General's office, but we called them and they said, we don't want to comment about this either. Go to the Treasury Department. So they don't want to talk about it. So what I'm going to do is file a complaint with the feds, and I would recommend that people who get these letters do that as well. We're going to put a link on our website uh, on the Defender page. Click on Detroit.com so people can do that. Sounds good. Yeah, Thank right. you, Kevin. Appreciate Kevin. it.